can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. What a body kick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to him. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bruce gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. The Dominator gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he's connected on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Big kick lands. Nice kick with the right hand. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Trying to kick the leg out. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And they separate. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by O'Malley. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big up. knee! He's a pro. He's a man. Oh, straight right. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing... Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Tags him with a flush left. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Bleeding over the left eye now. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Clean left punch followed by the right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Single collar tie now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, can't do that in soccer, but it's allowed here. Nice trip to get the takedown. Oh, great foot sweep right there. Got to the clinch, started manipulating the body in the moment his opponent took a misstep. Two, tripped him right over the top. Great job. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. He gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Push kick there to the body. Well, no 
problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Cruz gets hit by that leg kick. O'Malley's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of... Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the mat? And he is back up to his feet. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, single collar time now. And then... He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Nice straight punch. And he comes through with a big knee. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high clutch, taking for a while. Oh. Deep, flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or am I read my last round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, John. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your point. He might get a finish here. Can he take? Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on him. Attacking armbar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Stuff to take down, no problem. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Went for the inside leg kick. Got the single collar tie. Oh, Malley gets the tie clinch here. He lands a switch knee. Another nice knee to the body. And they separate.
Just misses there with the left. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Cruz. Wow! Well, good news, bad news here. Good news, round is over. Bad news, the cut on his lip, as nasty as we've ever seen in the UFC. Really, really bad. And you gotta think at some point the doctor's gonna get called in. If it's any worse than it is now, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed and... Are you ready? Round underway. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds. Making up for the last shot there. He's lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw him up for like that, it was over his person with gun. Series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice stick with the right hand. Massive up the stretch. Oh. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Just missed with the left there. Lands the overhand punch to the head. And they separate. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, collar tie. Big knee lands to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Try to establish that jab. Oh, knee Cruz has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Out of range with that one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Cruz goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, big left. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Great punch landed with so much power. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Oh, single collar tie here. And they set. Big knee there. That was a jab. All right, he'll engage oh, big knee. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. An uppercut in. And they separate. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, 
Yeah, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting ass. It's like he's hitting polka smits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive. Whoa! What a fantastic strike. Oh! All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. All right, so a good job defensively by him here. Oh, there you go. Yep, he's up and right there. Oh, nice job using his strength there. The up to see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that. Relax. Slow that pump down. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We were bloody. You ready? You ready? So fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Massive needed a body land. The Dominator gets caught with that punch. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's got oh, He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Big knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. Well, it's hard to win a fight working off of your back, but that elbow is useful. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but yeah, it looks a little longer. Yeah, oh! Oh, he's hurt. Change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he secures his takedown. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, 
close to your hands. Don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your handstand. Oh, fight the hands. Break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His leg. Oh, and he hip tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. He's attacking the guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting.